These are eight popular luxury bags that show up on a lot of must-buy lists due to their popularity, but for me, they're on my no-buy list, and I will tell you exactly why. Hey there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. A few days ago, I made a community post here on YouTube asking viewers to vote for my next video topic. The topics were eight popular luxury bags I won't buy or stop wasting your money on these five types of luxury bags. It was a pretty close vote. 54% versus 44%, but this is the topic that won out. However, because the votes were pretty close, I will record the other video topic probably in a week or two. Now let's get right into it. We're going to talk about eight popular luxury bags I will not buy. We're going to cover bags from Hermes, Dior, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Goyard. Let's get right into it, starting with Hermes. The bag from Hermes that I won't buy is the Hermes Kelly, and the reason why I won't buy this bag is solely the price of the bag. If you buy the bag in the boutique, they generally start, I believe, around $10,000 and up. Every size and leather combination of the Kelly is priced slightly differently, but generally speaking, you're looking at $10,000 and above. Of course, you can't just walk into a boutique and buy a Kelly. It is one of Hermes's three quota bags. In order to get a Kelly from the boutique, you have to be offered one from your sales associate. And in order to be offered one from a sales associate, you have to be an existing client, which means you have to buy a lot of stuff from the store. So you're paying the $10,000 plus for the bag in addition to other items you've already bought from the store to be offered the bag. So it's very expensive. If you go the resale market, these are priced well above the boutique price. So you're looking anywhere in the range of like 20 to $30,000. Of course, it's easy for me to sit here and say I won't buy an Hermes Kelly because they are prohibitively expensive and most people cannot afford an Hermes Kelly. However, I also think it's really important to think about the price of a bag. Even entry level canvas luxury bags generally start around $1,500 to $2,000. That's a pretty big investment for a non-essential luxury item. So it's really important to sit down and have a tough conversation with yourself about how much money are you actually willing to spend on a non-essential luxury item. Sit down, think about your budget ahead of time and stick to that budget. Don't just write off the cost of an item because you really want it. Moving on to the second luxury bag I won't buy, it's the Chanel heart bag. Granted, this bag is not quite as popular in 2023 as it was when it was first released, but when this bag came out, it was everywhere on social media. I could not open up my Instagram app or any other social media without seeing the Chanel heart bag. And I think it's super cute. It is an adorable bag, but it's a novelty bag. A little heart-shaped bag is a novelty. And again, the reason I won't buy this has to do with the price of the bag. A novelty bag is one that I know I'm not going to use very often. So for me, considering the cost per wear of this bag, I'm not willing to spend thousands of dollars on a luxury novelty bag that I know I'm not going to wear very often. For me, I think novelty bags are a great opportunity to explore contemporary designers. There's a lot of contemporary designers that make very cute novelty type bags for a fraction of the price. One of my favorites is Kate Spade. Kate Spade makes some of the cutest little novelty bags I've ever seen, and they generally retail in the hundreds of dollars range, not the thousands of dollar range. So that's why I won't buy the Chanel heart bag. I think novelty bags are a great opportunity to explore contemporary design brands. The next popular luxury bag I won't buy is the Lady Dior. I think this bag looks beautiful. I admire this bag on other people. However, I don't think it's a bag that would work well for my lifestyle. And just because it's a beautiful bag 
doesn't mean I need to personally own it. To me, the Lady Doer is a pretty formal style bag. It's very easy to dress up the Lady Doer and wear it formally. Of course, you can wear the Lady Doer casually. A great creator who shows how to casually style the Lady Dior is Melissa Adams Wade. She has a beautiful green Lady Dior, and I really admire the way she styles it casually. However, I know that for me personally, I most likely wouldn't use the Lady Dior as an everyday bag. So even though I admire it, looking at my actual day-to-day -day life, I don't think I would use this bag very often. And when considering whether to buy a bag or not, I think it's really important to take a hard look at how you actually dress, how you actually live your day-to-day -day life. How would you actually use that item in your real life? not the aspirational life you wish you had. So I know that even though I would love to wear this bag out to formal events, I don't go to a lot of formal events. Even though I see creators like Melissa styling this bag casually, I know that I personally have a lot of other everyday bags that I think I would really prefer to use more. So taking a hard look at my life and answering those questions that I pose to myself about how I would use this bag, I think this is a great bag for me to admire from afar. Just because I think it's beautiful doesn't mean I necessarily need to own it. The next two bags I won't buy I'm going to discuss together, and it is the Dior Saddle Bag and the Louis Vuitton Cousin. These two styles are pretty different from each other, but the reason I won't buy both of these is the same, and it comes down to the shape of the bag. The Dewar Saddle Bag, I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone watching this video, it's a very unique shape. A lot of people either love or hate the Dewar Saddle Bag. I've heard a lot of people describe it as a kidney shape. I've also heard that the bag doesn't fit as much as you might think it would fit from the size of the bag just due to the awkward shape of it. It can be kind of awkward to fit your items in the Dior saddle bag. So it's not a shape that I'm really drawn to. As for the Louis Vuitton Cousin, that is a much different shape. It's very square and boxy, even though it's a more pillowy lambskin leather. The shape of the bag is very squared off in the corners. It's not rounded at all. And I think that boxy shape does not look good on my body shape, on my body type. And this is a really interesting concept. I didn't think about it much before, the shape of my handbags working with the shape of my body. I would try on bags primarily looking at the size of the bag. Is the bag too big or too small for my frame, but I never really thought about the shape of the bag working with my body frame until I watched a video by my friend and fellow creator, Megan. Her channel is Train Girl Megan, I'll link to it below. But Megan did a video talking about how the shape of a bag can work or not work with different body types. That's why I won't buy this bag. I think it's really important when we're trying on bags, not just to look at the size of the bag, but also the shape. Do you personally like the shape of that bag? And does that bag shape work with the items you're going to put in it? And does the shape of the bag also work with your body? So that's another really great tip for trying on bags and what to look for, not just the size, but also the shape. Moving on to Goyard, I will not buy the Goyard tote bag. I'll put the exact name of it on the screen right here. There's a couple Goyard totes and I always get the names of them confused. I love a good tote bag. I have a couple Neverfulls. It's a tote bag that is very similar in shape and style to the Goyard tote bags, but I don't need the Goyard tote bags because I'm not drawn to that brand. I think they look really nice on other people. I'm sure it's a great bag because I love the Neverfull, and like I said, it's a very similar style and shape to the Neverfull. However, I don't feel the need to own a bag from every single brand just to have a well-rounded collection. When I started buying luxury bags, I was under the impression that I should have a well-rounded collection, which meant bags from different designers, 
bags in different colors, bags in different shapes and styles, and have a nice variety to choose from. However, since I've been buying bags for a few years now, I've come to learn that I'm not drawn to all different designers. I'm not drawn to all different shapes, and I'm not drawn to all different colors. I have certain preferences for styles of bags that I like to use, colors of bags that work better with my skin tone and my wardrobe, and also designers that I'm drawn to. I love Louis Vuitton. The vast majority of bags that I own are from Louis Vuitton, and that's okay. I don't need to own a bag from every single designer just to own a bag from that designer. I only have to buy from the houses and the colors and shapes that I like. Wrapping up this list with the final luxury bag I won't buy, it's the Palm Springs Mini. I know a lot of people love this bag. People I know who own this bag absolutely rave about it and they say it's their all time most favorite Louis Vuitton bag. However, I'm not really a backpack person. I don't think I would wear the Palm Springs Mini as an actual backpack. And I also see a lot of people who own this bag don't wear it as a backpack either. Most people I see wearing the Palm Springs Mini style it as a crossbody bag. And I don't feel the need to buy the Palm Springs Mini to style it as a crossbody because I already have a lot of other crossbodies I really love. I have the Neo Noe MM, I primarily wear that crossbody. The Alma BB, I also wear a crossbody as well. So I don't feel the need to buy a backpack just to repurpose it as a crossbody bag. If I know that I'm going to be wearing it crossbody, I would rather just buy a bag that was designed to be an actual crossbody bag. I really hope you enjoyed this list and the reasons why I won't buy these bags were helpful to you. If there's a popular luxury bag that you won't buy, comment below, let us know what that bag is and why you won't buy it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.